you know, 11 seasons is a huge milestone. Has your approach to your characters changed in the last like seven years of portraying them in different ways? Absolutely, Spencer. Yeah, the first couple seasons, we were um, quite heavily um, in the drug world. Mm-hmm. Not that Meth- we really amphetamine. <laughs> um, and, you know, we had scars and we had black eyes and we didn't sleep very much. Not that our characters have changed much in that regard, but um, Evan and I used to slam just 12 cups of coffee before we got to <laughs> got to set and we dance our hearts out. And, and uh, that was kind of our... Um, our, our meth of choice back in the day. And now our characters are a little bit more um, word perfect and uh, have all sorts of other things that they're getting into. So we gotta, we gotta prepare a little bit more these days. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, anything to add, Evan, or is it just the same? Yeah, no, I mean, there, we, 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 we do have a lot of preparation. We do have a lot of preparation. Tyler and I like to run our lines 400 times, as we like to say, <laughs> um, the night before. Uh, and and the fact that we do have fewer drug references and we're more like you know investigating crimes and like <laughs> starting businesses it's it's a it's a new words for us a lot of yeah, new things to learn starting businesses. yeah awesome yeah Tyler I wanted to ask you know the church bake sale episodes really Stuart's big episode you know what was filming that like oh it was so much fun anytime we get to a group of people together um, on one day we usually have a, a freaking blast you know so we had uh, we had Coach Gaylor. And then uh, Katie Rosie and Glenn and Tannis. And then, of course, Roldy and I roll up to the spot. And um, you throw a bunch of characters together in one place, it's going to usually be mayhem. Um, and obviously, the cast gets along very well. So uh, we, we know when to be professional and when to, uh, you know, try and uh, push push each other's buttons a little bit. <laughs> awesome. I and, you know, that. Evan, yeah? the scene in the drug dealing episode where you're, like, going around Stuart in the chair like a yeah. Disney villain tempting yeah. him. You know, that was yeah. that was incredible. How many takes did that require? Well, I thought yeah. that they I thought that they were gonna punch in uh to, you know, cut them together to make it look <laughs> less crazy. Um yeah. but they they just kept the one wide shot of me doing it. Did not expect that actually. I was surprised <laughs> to see that yesterday. It took a the few first... sorry, buddy. Go ahead. Well, kept you kept laughing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The first well, cause the first thing is like look. <laughs> He just, we didn't rehearse it. We didn't talk about it. All of a sudden, we just started saying the lines. And Evan is all over me. I'm supposed to be stoic seated on this chair. He's rubbing my shoulder all the way down to my fingertips. And then he comes around this. He goes up my neck and around my other side. And then his, his lips are touching my... <laughs> I was thinking my hot breath, my <laughs> hot breath on your neck at one point. I was like... Inside of my ear. Yeah, I still remember that feeling. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what happened um, that day, Spencer. They just sometimes <laughs> Jacob, our director, will um, just let us go and um, kind of just leave us stranded out there. And that might have been one of the cases in which that happened to Evan. Because yeah, that was Jacob's fault. Yeah, definitely <laughs> Jacob's fault. Yeah, it totally paid off though. It was a really good scene. <laughs> it was very funny. Thanks. Very uh, and then for both of you again, but uh, we'll start with Tyler again. You know, uh, it'd be easy for the skids to kind of wear out their welcome or be one note, but you guys keep them consistently entertaining. What's your approach to that? Well, I got to say, uh, Jared and Jacob have done a great job of writing the skids. I think Jared has said in the past, uh, the skids are some of his favorite scenes to write because he can pretty much get away with doing anything, uh, which has been pretty cool to be a part of this evolution of the skids. You know, again, mm-hmm. we started out as the uh, drug dealers in the basement selling uh, dollar cigarettes and then we became weightlifters and break dancers and business owners we do it all man we do, we do it, it all, all. It's endless <laughs> so it's it's every season's refreshing yeah yeah it's true it's really it's really just a matter of jacob and jared being like oh we can do anything with them so the one <laughs> note aspect was them stepping away from like the necks the neck wounds and the throwing up <laughs> on the patio <laughs> and being like you know let's give them anything else to do yeah like, in a way you guys have become like the kramers of a uh, of letter kenny where any two kramers oh no perfectly Five kramer. <laughs> kramer and kramer yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh and so you know tyler now that 11 seasons have passed you know has that lightning fast wordplay become more natural to deliver or has it become any easier it, it, uh 
easier is a pretty tricky word. We, we, like Evan says, we rehearse a lot and a lot and a lot. And some of these words that I say, say as Stuart, I never use in my book. Tyler needs a dictionary on hand. Oh, all man. The time. I have very, very <laughs> limited vocabulary, Spencer. So when I'm reading Stuart's lines, I have no idea what I'm saying when I first read them. Um, the the amount hard. of times, like, you'll hear <laughs> Jacob shout from across the room, like, it's charcuterie. Yeah. Charcuterie. <laughs> like, charcuterie? Charcuterie. <laughs> Never seen this word before. What is this? <laughs> Dang cheese. I'm dude. I don't, I don't eat this cheese and meat and these crackers. <laughs> Green juice only. Cheese whiz and the uh, Ritz. Ritz. Uh, um, yeah. So it's, it does get easier because Evan and I uh, have an amazing uh, relationship. Rapport. Oh, and chemistry. And uh, we uh, we always have each other's back out there, too. Whenever Evan forgets a line, which is all the time, I'll hop in <laughs> and cover for him. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, just... right. Oh, man. That's so cool. And, uh, you know, Evan, what's it like to uh, to film the Skid's iconic dance sequences? It's It feels exhausting. Talk to his lower back. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun and it's hype. And when we know they're going to happen, you know, we stretch out, we feel good. And then when we don't know when it's going to happen, like, for instance, you know, someone surprises us like, oh, you guys have like a dance sequence now. And we have warmed up. Um, the 30 year oldness of us really kind of settles in. Like, we, I really start to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> doing yeah. the handstands and jumping around but it's fun <laughs> it's a good time evan's right okay. spencer for the first couple seasons um they would see a cool backdrop or a cool space and they're like hey let's get the skids in wardrobe and have them dance against this wall let's get the skids in wardrobe and have them dance yeah. against this be wall standing so in the back i'm like dance, dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's standing so cool. by 20 30 dance. minutes of <laughs> dance is sweating just play a song on blood in my shoes yeah <laughs> No, but things are great, awesome. Spencer. Yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, we're doing great. <laughs> ten out of ten. You guys sell it completely. It looks totally natural and energetic. I, I wouldn't believe that you need any Advil after. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, then my last question for both of you, um, I will start with Tyler, is you know, Letterkenny has a pretty substantial following even outside of Canada. How does it feel to be part of a, a major piece of, of Canadian entertainment now? It feels incredible, Spencer. Uh you know, a lot of growing up in this industry, oftentimes we have to um, hide our Canadian accents. And mm -hmm. uh, we we in Vancouver here, we uh, we mimic Seattle and Toronto, they mimic New York. And uh, uh, it's just kind of cool to be able to just uh, let our Canadian flag fly. And um, it's it's nice to see other countries gravitate towards it. I mean, America, that tour we did was out of control fun. And we had amazing crowds every single night, every city we went to um and it was just incredible um there's no other way to describe it it's true no other way yeah it's, it's, awesome. it's like how do you even like you know and you go on your your uh, instagram or your twitter and you look at the analytics and it's 80 percent america too right? mm -hmm. so they yeah. really gravitated and, and held on to our show and um that live tour was a big indicator of that